Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Blue. Man, Lavender Town really brings you down, doesn't it? Knowing this is a place for dead Pokemon and people to come mourn over their lost friends. Oof. I don't know. It's just not a happy place to be. I do think once we originally arrived here, because remember, we started out after coming through uh, Passageway here. We ended up coming down to Lavender. Man, that music shift really changes the tone. Um, when we came through here, we kind of like poked around a little bit. We didn't actually go too far though um i think let's take a quick little peek around and see if there's anything we haven't looked at yet i hate those horrible rockets that poor cubone's mother he was killed trying to escape from team rocket i don't remember talking to her i know mr fuji was around or something like that oh this guy's house is like different music interesting hello hello i am the official name writer want me to name uh write the nickname of your pokemon Fine. No, I'm I don't. I don't know what that ever gives you, but like, how would he? How does he rate a nickname? It's not like there's an AI to tell you like if the name I don't know Asphart is any good. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, this is Fuji's house, I think. I think now let's take a look and see. Yeah, Graveler. We need to. Oh, dang it! I was gonna put Graveler out front, but he's gonna be useless anyway. I'm gonna throw Raichu out front actually. Graveler is secondary, but he's going to be useless against the ghosts that we fight. And Cubone is a pretty rare encounter. Although, ow. I was going to say, oh, that's very blue. I was going to say it would make sense if uh, we were fighting the trainers, but they're probably mostly using ghosts anyway, so. I came to pray for Michael Ferry. I can't stop crying. Yeah, seems to be a common theme around here. Did you come to pay respects? Bless you. Not exactly what I was doing, but... My Growlithe, why did you die? Dark. I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that had died. Okay, well... Let's see what's up. Oh, hey. Blue's chilling. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, we gotta talk about this. Um, let me find this image here. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and... Put that here, um, and then I'm going to pull something up for you guys to look at with me in a minute here, just because I find this to be incredibly fascinating. Okay, let's go talk to Blue. He has a very different demeanor up in here now. Hey, Mark, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. I actually forgot that he had a battle in here. I thought he had a... Well, we'll fight him and beat him. That was a dumb choice. Yeah, I forgot we fought. Okay, but actually this is important. So, uh, I think the last time that we battled him was on the SSN, and when we fought him, he had Eradicate, and we knocked out Eradicate, and he had to go heal up after the fact, obviously. Keep that in mind for a second. I would switch, but two Pokemon weak to uh, an electric type back to back. My Raichu's potent. Pulls it off. Nice. Yeah, we'll switch. Throw a Blastoise out there. Still hasn't evolved into Arcanine. That's interesting. How did he get a Growlithe anyway? That's a red exclusive. Friggin' dirtbag. They're not going to even get a hit on me. I'm actually going to throw a Graveler out there to smash Kadabra here. <laughs> yeah, you're level 20, Kadabra. Psh, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's see. Which was a good one? I think Rock Throw we should probably be enough. Why would you... Wow. Moron trainer. He's going to be very surprised if Kadabra survived that. His defense is terrible, I think. Powerful special attack, but defense is god-awful. I think he has the advantage, but I'm fine with that. I should have actually expected that was going to work out like that. <laughs> if I was going to hit first, I would have been fine. Alright, let's throw Flareon out there. That was stupid. I should have expected Ivysaur is going to be faster and go first. Oh, 
nice. What, you stinker? I took it easy on you, too. What did you notice about his Pokemon team? No Raticate this time. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Smell you later. Okay, so I'm going to upload a little image here for you live while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm going to pull this up, and we're going to review this tidbit of information. Okay, I find this to be endlessly fascinating. In the original Pokemon Red and Blue, when you encounter your rival in Lavender Town, he asks whether or not you know what it's like. Oh, did he? He didn't ask me that, though. Maybe when it it's when I originally arrived? See, that's what I remember. I remember that. That's weird. He didn't ask exactly like that. When you can't arrive at Lavender Town, he asks whether or not you know what it's like to have one of your Pokemon die. At this point in the game, he no longer has his Raticate that he used in previous battles. Your rival battle before this took place aboard the SSN. Your rival's Raticate sustained serious injuries from the battle, but because crowding and confusion on the luxury liner, he was unable to make it to a Pokemon Center in time, and the Raticate passed away. The real reason your rival is in Lavender Town to begin with is to lay his deceased friend to rest. Despite all this, your rival never outwardly tells you that you're responsible for the death of his Pokemon. He hides his grief and instead channels that energy into the motivation he needed to continue his quest to become Indigo League Champion. The death of his Raticate effectively destroys your rival's impish childhood innocence. Although he tells himself that he doesn't hold you responsible, he subconsciously holds a great deal of resentment towards you, which further fuels his ambitions. Tearfully swearing upon his Raticate's grave to not fail in what he set out to do, he trains hard in hopes of becoming better than you, defeating you, and to eventually make it to the Pokemon League. Mere moments after he became Indigo League Champion, he was defeated by you. Although he failed his promise to his fallen Pokemon, it was only for a painfully brief moment. In the end, your rival is scolded by his grandfather while you receive the professor's praise. During the course of the game, you steal your rival's innocence, crush his dreams, and ultimately snatch away the love of his own grandfather. Oh, and by the way, your rival doesn't have any parents. He's an orphan. So, yeah, that's a thing. Although, I remember the encounter that they're referencing, though, that we run into him and he... I thought he didn't battle us here. It's weird that he... I don't know, maybe I'm remembering it differently, but that's... Maybe there's another encounter, maybe we missed it? I don't know. But still, I found that to be unusual. Um, let's heal up real quick. I got a super potion we gotta use on Gravy. Graveler. Gravy, lure. Anyway, I found that to be very interesting, and I thought you might too, because it does make perfect sense. It explains why he got rid of his Raticate. Plus, Raticate sucks. It's like one of the worst Pokemon ever, stat-wise. Even we cannot identify the wayward ghosts. A Sylphscope might be able to unmask them. Okay. Alright, let's see. Who do we have in the lead? Was that still Raichu? Nope, wrong thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Wild Pokemon will disappear. That's right. Ghastly. Isn't it? Isn't there a chance for a Haunter? Like a rare chance for a Haunter? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That was cringy. Hard to look at. Channeler wants to fight. Barely stronger than the Wild one that we ran into. Can I beat that with a thunder shock? Yeah, I'm just gonna go thunderbolt. Ugh. Wow, he survived that? That might actually hurt me back big time. That was less than I expected. What am I doing? <laughs> Possession. Be gone, evil spirit. It's unusual that she has, like, white hair, but then you can see she's wearing a hat with then, like, presumably long black hair here. Yeah, it's just a lot of ghastly. Hopefully Thunderbolt can one-hit this one. So one frequent commenter on my videos, uh, Phantom DR, thank you, Phantom, for always having useful information. He, uh, or she, actually, I don't know the gender of this person. I dare not presume to know, but, uh, 
They were saying that Ghastly, or Ghost Pokemon in particular, were supposed to be... were supposed to be a counter towards Psychic-type Pokemon, but for some reason that wasn't... Something happened where that turned out to not be the case. Ghost Pokemon, I guess, don't have, like, a huge advantage over Psychic in the same way that I would have thought. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting. That was easy enough. And they're, like, acting all freaking weird because the spirits are nuts. Was there one more? I think there was one up here. Yeah, there it is. Not a ton of wild encounters, but if we see a Cubone, I'll catch it. I don't think... I don't think Blue uses Cubone. I think his, his team is getting pretty set. There's only, I think, a couple of changes that he's going to make. I'm pretty sure he's going to go Arcanine, Exeggutor, Rhydon, I think. Gyarados, his starter, so Venusaur. And Alakazam, I think, is what his final team is going to be. And I mean, his, I mean, he's right. Those are like the most powerful Pokemon that you can get in this. great when it comes to teams and types for sure. Dang it, another one of these stupid confused rays. It can also paralyze, can't it? I gotta be careful with that. Nice. <laughs> Ghost possessions, ridiculous. I think Cubone can show up in any floor as well. I don't think it's like a a particular floor. I might be wrong on that, but that's I remember it being sort of open. Ghastly is such a weird design in this game. Remind me of like a like a dust cloud or something. Be cursed with me. Okay. <laughs> Surprise. Ghastly again. I think some of these guys would level it up to be a haunter. You know, I also find it really frustrating that for some reason our rival ends up getting an Alakazam. Because, like, what does he do? Did he, did he just do a touch trade with someone, send his Kadabra over to someone else, and then just take it back and get the evolution? Like, I don't understand how he's able to do that. But, like, I alter the game files so I can level up and evolve the Pokemon at level 37, and people, like, go nuts. But for some reason, he's cool with Dang it. I should have swapped. But like, yeah. Blue, for some reason, our rival can, can evolve Pokemon without trading just fine. But when I do it, people start questioning my integrity. <laughs> Double standards of BS. God, imagine just taking a serum like that and all of a sudden you feel instantly better. Get hit in the face with a flamethrower, get blasted at like 90 miles an hour with gusts of wind or like like bursts of water. Here, just take this uh, this spray and you'll be back to 100%. No problem. Come on. I know ghosts aren't like inherently weak to electric attacks, but I just feel like this is not there. Thank you. That we're not really doing as much damage as we should be able to do. I guess I'm just not that high a level over them, but still. Okay. I need to get some HP ups for sure for this. Did 
What the heck do you know? Speaking of that. I only boosted it by one HP. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but like, it makes me nervous every time he does it. Okay, I thought maybe there was an item or a trainer up here. I want to knock them all out. Oh, the cleansing thing. Doesn't that heal the team up like instantly? and try and talk to her, but there's no way to do it. You shall join us. Frickin' psychos. Let me guess. Mmm. Ghastly, level 24. Okay, 22, but you get what I'm saying. I'm glad they give that sort of like healing pad thing here. Oh my god, because the teams can take a beating here. If it wasn't for my potions and whatnot, I write you would be KO'd probably. Come on. There you go. Give me your soul. Nah, I need it. I need it. Come on. Haunter, there we go. Dude, Haunter is gnarly looking. Look at that thing. Jesus H. Okay, we're gonna paralyze him first. God, that is creepy AF. God, I knew it. Just gonna paralyze me eventually. Well, I would have known that. I would just hit with Thunderbolt first and avoided all this. Okay, whatever. Come on, give me a Q bone encounter. I wonder what the deciding factor is on the gender of the Pokemon. Like when you capture a Pokemon in this game and then you trade it to like a generation that like. Nice. When you trade over to a game, space with white magic, you can rest here. Oh, we don't have to fight her. Like, what what decides which one that you have becomes male or female? You know. Okay, whatever. Just do this. I'm just curious. There's got to be some sort of like stat or some sort of hidden detail that decides which one's male or female before when you trade it over. So looking at the order of the badges, we might need to go get the soul badge first before the marsh badge. But I don't know if I've always done that. I feel like I've always gotten the marsh badge first. <laughs> huh? Might as well heal again, take advantage of that.
There we go. Okay, I was hoping we hit level 30 for him. Come on, Cubone, anytime, dude. Anytime. to the end here. Give me blood! I don't remember these guys being so... gruesome. Actually, if I switch back to Raichu, is he confused again? Is he confused for the duration of the battle? Or is he back to normal because I put him in his Pokeball and then brought him back out? I wonder... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's confused. I think he snaps out of it. trade with each other and get like I don't know a haunter leveled up and then get a Gengar like what is the deal we saw level 24 haunter so you know they they're around I don't know just seems a little silly to me Uh, white magic thing. Something fell out. Yuck. I always wondered if she meant like an item. Did something fall out? Is that what you mean? Let's see. Item. Save the rare candy. Maybe we'll do the Mew or the uh, missing no glitch at some point. Be gone, intruders. Here we go. A spooky ghosty. I always thought Mar Marowak here was wearing a lab coat. Doesn't he look like he's wearing a lab coat? Oh, I don't think I have any electric attacks that are going to do anything. We're going to switch. Uh, let's go to Graveler for the uh, experience. I don't think Graveler's really got any advantage here, but... Look at how tiny Graveler looks by comparison. So funny. How did Growl fail? Oof. 
Are you kidding me? Okay, well, apparently we're not gonna do that. Wipe the floor with my freaking graveler, dude. Oof. A beam of bubbles. Put an end to your reign of terror, Marowak. You can't catch that Marowak, by the way. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. Mother's soul was calmed. It departed the afterlife. I wonder if maybe then it increases the chances of running into a Marowak. Or sorry, a uh, Cubone, rather. Hmm. What do you want? Why are you here? Actually, I halfway forgot that there was even a Team Rocket presence in this place. First time we're seeing Golbat in battle, huh? Hideous Pokemon. Looks cooler later, but that is nasty. I'm not gonna forget this. This old guy came and complained about us harming the useless Pokemon. We're talking it over as adults. Hmm. Somehow, I just, uh, I don't believe you. Butt me and I punch you right in the face. Pokemon are only good for making money. Stay out of our business. You're not saving anyone, kid. It's kind of interesting how the leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni, looks like a, just a mob thug in this game, but later is depicted more of like a very brilliant strategic businessman who knows how to like manipulate things from behind the scenes while like maybe even also kind of looking like or presenting himself like a stand-up citizen with a really strong sense of, of morality. I just, I don't know, moral fiber, moral compass, whatever. Rocket didn't get the memo that I'm a killer of Raticades. Hey, there we go. getting away with this. I mean, I kind of stomped you all. I feel... I feel like I'm getting away with that. Huh? You came to save me? Thank you, but I came here with my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. 
Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Nice. Mark, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. Oh hey, we can grab a Snorlax. Which I kind of want to put on the team instead of Graveler right now. Upon hearing Pokeflute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. Brilliant. Mr. Fuji has been praying alone for Cubone's mother, and we didn't get a Cubone ourselves, which sucks. It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's go heal up. And then uh, I want to go freaking encounter a Snorlax. What do you think? Maybe not immediately, but that is the next the next goal but all right we'll go ahead and heal up but that's also i think a good point for us to stop thank you guys for watching this episode of pokemon blue we will uh, continue with our playthrough tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time right here on the mark and i channel if you enjoyed the video show your love hit the like button do not forget to subscribe any feedback for me leave in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to take a look at the description box or some links that might be of interest to you one of which is a link to the mark and i community discord server if you want to be part of that group you can chat with me directly there's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time. I hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Pokemon Blue. Alright guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.